Right, so let's deal with um, looking at how we deal or treat losses. Um, <clears throat> again, I think it's always good to make sure that you've kind of done losses for individuals, you sort of keep that away, and then come to losses for companies, so you can clearly distinguish between the two when you come to do questions and you're not you don't have the rules overlapping in your mind so you want to make sure you give yourself enough time companies i've always preferred i think i mentioned this in class i've always preferred dealing with losses for companies i, I they almost feel intuitive um to me they just feel kind of what you would expect there's an order to them so let's go through let's um let's jump in straight away as usual we'll probably you know just go through 15 minutes and then make sure we have so you're not totally um <clears throat> eyeballed out you're quite happy to carry on right so let's still so fundamentally here we are dealing with um well we're just looking at the number of losses we're not dealing with capital um capital losses immediately we'll see what happens with those so but you can just sort of see what's going on um key point is we're looking at trading losses initially and ultimately the benefit really is for trading losses um, i don't want to overlap so much with personal but remember with quite a lot of restrictions with trading losses for the individuals so let's see here so let's start uh, let's go here we're going to start off here of course we're talking about trading losses and let's push on quickly and apply this um, as soon as possible in a question so we have here trading losses of course we expect and we're quite comfortable with the fact remember that with the company you have a number of things going on right remember that everything is getting taxed at 20 percent and 19 percent i accept but you have trading income you have interest income you have property income you have capital gains you have you don't have any miscellaneous income but imagine you did and then all of this gets and then you have of course your qcds then you have everything getting taxed at the thing but the key point is we're saying here what if you don't have any trading income then you have income here you have income here you have income here what's the story what do you do so um the first thing that i want to highlight is that you don't have to i mean you can see here it says so your first option here is it says that you can see straight away it just says carry forward so you can carry it forward against if you like um total profits so you, you you don't have to kind of as with the um as with the individual you don't have to use it again against anything going on here you can just take this loss whatever it was and carry it and use it in the future now this is what we talk a bit more about qcds and i just kind of give you a practical example really imagine you had um the whole point of qcds their deduction ultimately right you're paid out this money, it's an expense, but it gets restricted in terms of how you can use it. And when we talk about wasting QCDs, the whole idea is imagine you had total income here of 1000 and you had QCDs, if you like, of 500 that you could technically use against this income. Unfortunately, in some cases, you would have to say, imagine you had losses in your year imagine we actually had a loss of 1000 in that year trading loss and you had these are other incomes so interest income property income blah 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 so the whole idea is you might say hmm oh and wouldn't it be good if i could kind of um make do this do use this 500 against this income and then i'll only have 500 left and then i could then use this 500 against this loss of 1000 and then i can carry forward 500 well no we'll, we'll come to that so the key point is that if you're going to when we come here, once you use this loss against, you have to use this loss against all of this income, wiping it all out, and that means this gets wasted. You've not been able to use it because you've used all the income, all the loss from your trading loss against the um, income in that year. So that's what we talk about wasting QCDs. So forget everything I just said there because that's not what I'm talking about now. I just wanted to highlight this idea of wasting QCDs. Just highlight the issue there with wasting QCDs. Right, so let's jump in again and then focus a bit more on what's going on over here. So carry forward against total profits before QCDs. You just need to put in a claim, tick a box, and that's what we're going to look at first now the good thing the advantage here again the little thing you have to remember is that when we're going forwards going forwards we can preserve those qcds if you like we can restrict the use of the loss to ensure that there is enough income in the next year to use the qcds let's jump in and see what that question therefore looks like so looking at question one again my work won't be the neatest it's just really to um, 
show you the process and that's what I want you to do get the thinking right and then the rest really comes so here we have here um, year-end um, 31st of March 19 we have year-end 31st of March 20 and it says that we have the projected trading income is 19,200 here it's 19 sorry 21,750 here 21,750 and then what it also says here is that the company receives interest so this is trading income and it says the company also receives interest income here um, so this is year end 31st of March 18 there is no um, trading income it says the company also receives interest income of 2200 so that's 2200 2200 and it says it also has property income I'll just give myself some more space there of 1500 1500 1500 I'll just change my pen color there so what we now have here is that it says that you now have you have this loss of you have this loss of oops sorry this was go away you have this loss of 41 41000 so how do I best use that now um it says you also make charitable don oh sorry I've missed that my property income was seven thousand here we are let's change the back property income seven thousand one hundred seven thousand one hundred seven thousand one hundred and then here we have um change my pen color charitable donation one thousand one thousand five hundred um one thousand five hundred one thousand five hundred change my pen color again and that's why we go for purple this time so i have this loss of forty one thousand it's telling me to go forward so technically you can already see why the issue here is i can sort of use this income against this qcd loss right if i i'll talk about it in a second if i had chosen to use the loss here against this as you can imagine what i'm saying here teaching something that i'm going to teach literally in the next video in a couple of seconds is that i lose this qcd or the opportunity to use this qcd so what i'm going to do is i'm going to carry forward that loss against this year but what i i'm going to do is i want to make sure i have enough i, I use only enough loss to ensure that I have a balancing figure of 1,500 so I can use use it against this QCD. So what I then do, therefore, is I must therefore need um, 19,200 plus 2,200 plus 7,100 equals that minus 1,500, which is 27,000. So I will use a loss of, I will only carry forward a loss in this year of 27,000, which will then give me a balancing figure of 1,500, and then I can use that against this, and therefore, hey, what we do? Nothing to, no, no, no total taxable, nothing in total taxable profits. And then I carry forward the rest. I mean, and that's just 14,000, isn't it? And then I do that, and then I will now have 21,750 plus 2,200, Plus seven thousand one hundred minus fourteen thousand, and that's seven thousand and fifty. Take away one thousand five hundred, and that's fifteen thousand five hundred and fifty. And here I would just have the two thousand two hundred plus seven thousand one hundred. Whoops. Delete, 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 with 7,100 equals that, minus 1,500, giving me 7,800. And so this is where I, this is where I seem to, this is my balance now, this is where I am. So you can see what I've done there is I have used um, those, this is how I've efficiently used these losses um, to the best of being able to preserve these QCDs. That's the first thing. Right. Um, and that's that one so let's let's move on very quickly so the other thing so i you can see how i've dealt with that the second thing now here this is what you must remember is that well the other option i have is if i wish to use those losses my trading losses in my year against existing income in my year 
the first thing is I must use it against all the income in my year. I cannot preserve any of the income to to use against the QCDs in my year. Um, I, so potentially you will waste QCDs. Then you can carry forwards. That's automatic. Um, but <clears throat> the problem, of course, is when I say the other issue you have, of course, is you can always go back one year. But unlike the individual, what your your options, what you must do is you must current year to go back you have to current year then carry back 12 months you see and then carrying back as well you cannot restrict the qcds carrying back you cannot restrict any qcds so the only time we can restrict qcds are going forwards right that's the key point here you cannot restrict qcds so it's just what it is you'll probably lose qcds going back but hey um that's the that's the that's the situation so let's see how that what that looks like this is a good good example to sort of do this is probably will bring us to the end of this this video um so what we now have here is a situation where this business here has a loss of 31200 so kind of being very clear here is that we have potential to offset the 600 but we, we if we're going to use this this if we want to carry back we have to use against our existing um income in our year so the existing income in our year here is 11,520 isn't it these two together so i must technically again like i said forgive me for not being as neat as possible um so this is if you like interest income this is um, chargeable gains. So what do I do? I have to, first of all, wipe these out, 11,520. Then I can go back. So unfortunately, my QCDs here wasted, you know, but you can, and I suggest you make a, you will make a sort of note in your appendix or <clears throat> for the examiner to see clearly that um, TTP, nil wasted you can't use it you can't use it and then this is of course year end 19 30 30th for 19 so coming back here year end 30 for 18 you now have trading income i'll just insert that over there 7650 you have interest income 450 and again, yes, why not? You can use, um, you can wipe all of that out as it, it so happens. Um, the, the 0, 5, 10, 11, 8. So you can wipe all of that out. And unfortunately, again, your QCDs are wasted. And you can only go back one year. So you, you couldn't, you can't go back this year. So 34, 17. So they'll have 17, 250, 1, 300. And they'll take away the 400. And, and that's, and that's, so you have here five zero zero five five one eight take away the four hundred so that's like one eight one fifty i believe <clears throat> and that's and that's it so now all that will happen to the rest of that loss is that it will be carried forwards against total income where we can then preserve qcds as we go forwards so thirty one thousand two hundred minus we've used up eleven five hundred and twenty we've used up um eight thousand one hundred so if you like deduct those two things <clears throat> thirty one thousand two hundred minus eleven five two zero minus eight one hundred takes us to um eleven five eighty if you like and so we're there yes that's what we can carry forward into the next period oh great closing up to 15 15 minutes and that's how we and this is the fun these are the, this is the fundamental um the, this is the fundamental application of corp tax um, losses um carry forward and use against total profits restricting qcds or to carry back you must current year first potentially losing your qcds and then um going back like one year potentially losing QCDs there as well, and then going forwards and whatever's left restricting QCDs. Cool, great stuff, and I will see you in the next video.